continuing with our upper body, I want to explore the shoulder joint. So this is a great movement to just keep practicing. It helps with our mobility in the shoulder joint. If you notice that it's a little tight or crunchy as you're doing this, the more often you practice this, the more range of motion you'll start to notice. So we're going to practice strict shoulder cars. And the way I like to do this is to make a, a fist with my hand. It gives me a little bit more feedback. You're gonna turn, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. You're gonna turn your whole arm from the shoulder joint externally. So my bicep is facing forward, my wrist and my palm are facing forward. Then you're gonna reach as far as you can up. You'll notice that I get stuck here. I can't keep reaching my arm anymore. That's when I find rotation from my shoulder joint. My bicep spins out away from me reaching back behind me as far as I can. I keep spinning my bicep so it's pointing now up towards the ceiling, the shoulders pointing forward. And then I reverse bringing the arm back down by my side. We'll reverse that mo motion, thinking of the bicep leading, uh, uh, my tricep, sorry, is leading this time, reaching back, rotating the bicep out away from me, up towards the ceiling, as I rotate from the shoulder joint, the arm comes back in front of me, bicep facing up to return to the start. One more time, finding that big reach, bicep facing towards the ceiling. Rotate from the shoulder joint, the bicep spins around and is now facing up behind me. And then I bring the arm back by my side. Reverse, find that rotation from the shoulder joint up and all the way around. Do a few rounds of those on each side and just let me know how it feels in your body after.